Hello everybody, I am Jared Ross, the Genie Vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. In today's video, I will be reacting to our DNA test results from ASAP Science. I recently reacted to an ASAP Science video where it was Mitchell doing a DNA test with his sister. Uh, and I found out after I did that reaction that they had actually done a, a DNA test results before that video. So that's the one that I'm going to be watching today. And it's actually both of them from ASAP Science who will be doing the DNA tests, or at least that's what I assume. Um, so, uh... We'll be jumping into that in just a second, but first, if you can give this video a thumbs up, that would really give me a big boost in the algorithm, and if you can also subscribe and click that bell for notifications for new videos. I do plan to have a lot of videos coming up. Um, there's been a bunch that I've kind of had to slow down just because the whole coronavirus thing has slowed down the world, and so that's caused a lot of hiccups in some of the research. So there's a whole lot of stuff that is going to be coming out, not just more professional genealogist reacts videos, although I will be having a ton of those coming out. But if you really do enjoy the content, uh, please be sure to subscribe, click that bell. But now that I've said all that, let's go ahead and jump into the video. I think I'm nervous to find out I'm like not how I think I am. I'm expecting to learn what kind of white I am. Today we're doing a 23andMe test to find out if we actually are who we think we are. We've been wanting to do this for a long time now. We've actually spat into the vial and submitted the stuff to 23andMe a long time ago before they reached out to even sponsor this video. My family's like really mixed. My dad's white, but then my mom is born in India, but also of like Welsh descent, I think. Sometimes I just call myself a mutt. Don't know. In the, in the video that I saw beforehand, uh, he had, I think, about 24% or his sister had 24% South Asian. Um, so that's, you know, that's where that's all coming from, which is very interesting. Um, but I wonder if they're going to jump a bit more into that in this video. Because um, I'd be especially interested to see, is it that he has a grandmother that's fully South Indian? Or maybe is it a lot more of a mixture than something that's that straightforward? I know much about my ancestry. I know that I went to Scotland once. My dad was like, get our family tartan. And I was like, we're Scottish. The name 23andMe comes from the fact that human DNA is organized into 23 pairs of chromosomes. Their DNA analysis was created to help you understand your own DNA and find out which parts of the world your ancestors are from, about your health, your physical traits, and more. The first thing we have to do is collect our spit, spit so that we take. Can mail it every video does the spit Whoa. takes. I say it every time. The process requires collecting two milliliters of your own saliva, and that means that 23andMe, which has over one. Now it's only 23andMe and Ancestry that have the spit takes. If you do 23, or if you do Family Tree DNA and My Heritage, it's going to be uh, buccal swabs. Um, so those are really easy to do, just inside of the cheek, so you don't have to do all that spitting stuff. Um, but it, it, it's just funny that they always do that. But I do want to say one thing I love about ASAP science is the drawings and the explanations that they have. So I'm really hopeful that they'll dive into a lot in this video. In the last video I saw, they had, uh, done a couple of the little drawings about things, but didn't really go into as much depth as I kind of hope. So maybe they'll do that in this video. A million participants as a company has collected over 2000 liters of saliva, which is disgusting, but also kind of awesome. We're gonna do Greg's results right now. Whoa! <laughs> I'm 99.99% .99 European. <laughs> French and, French and German. Why do they group those together? I'm 1.4% Scandinavian. They group French and German together because the population groups that make up France and Germany have gone have migrated back and forth with the borders jumping back and forth as well for hundreds of years. So it's really difficult to figure out who's French and who's German just by looking at the DNA. But it's still such a big mix that it's so hard to tell them apart that it's really, really uh, difficult and they just put them together. And in fact, if anyone's seen that precision recall video that I did, we looked at French and German and they had extremely low precision and recall numbers. I think it was 28% and I can't remember what the other uh, one is, maybe 50, 60 something percent, but that's really low. So even if you do have French or German ancestry, 
it's going to be kind of difficult for them to find it. And you may not even get the French and German reading. You might get one of the broader, you know, Eastern or Western Europe sort of things or South Europe or, you know, it might be a broadly European reading instead of French and German. This is not shocking to me at all. So you're white. For British. You most likely had a fourth great grandparent who was 100% Yakut. Yeah, What's Yakut? Cool. Siberian. Siberian. Okay, so I'm like 99.9% .9 British, 0.1% Siberian. <laughs> so I'm going to get a Siberian husky off of that one Yakut person who made it into my lineage in 1732. <laughs> But that is a trace result, you know, 0.1%. So it's possible that it's a misread. It's possible that it's true. But, you know, it's, it's one of those things you can't, you can't read too much into. But if you do genealogy or if you get your parents tested, your grandparents tested, uh, then you might be able to see if they have higher amounts of it and maybe figure it out if it truly is okay. yours is lit up all Whoa. around the globe <laughs> my friend Whoa. so we kind of already saw this in the last there. video okay good i haven't been long to well, okay uh, so i still am quite european of which 32 percent is british 5.3 percent chinese Ooh. you have a bit of korean that's why oh. i like korean food so <laughs> I'm not sure if it's right to be so excited about like having like a percentage point Korean in me. It's just because I love Korean food and culture so much. It feels really cool to have a little bit more of a definitive answer of my background. I have Whoa. 290 Neanderthals. It'd be really Korean. interesting for like him to do his genealogy, oh especially <laughs> with that so Asian big. ancestry that he has. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like he knows a whole lot about that Asian ancestry. It seems like it's a very vague sort of knowledge of it so it'd be very interesting to see what his uh background is this is more than 69 percent of 23 me customers oh wow oh so a lot so of me like is that neanderthal surprising. that explains a lot i'm dirty like I'll that's take it. maybe where your like pain resistance comes from that is wow. so not information i want you to have look at, <laughs> look at your little <laughs> Genetic information is pulled from our DNA using SNPs, which are relatively common variations in DNA-based pairs. The saliva is broken into fragments and laid over a SNP chip or a credit card size plate covered in microarray chips. Analyzing these chips gives light into your ancestral background, as well as fun questions like can you smell asparagus in your urine or are you prone to male pattern baldness? Lighter skin. You are like a lighter skin. Oh, but it is light beige. You're mostly light beige. And then have some And olive. then moderately fair, and then very fair than olive. Wow. So your skin is fair, hence the burning, hence you need to wear sunscreen. <laughs> this is bow. I'm calling bow shit on this. Oh, yeah. Alcohol flush reaction, unlikely to flush. Okay, so yeah. that is not true. I drink, I flush. literally turn purple. It's just not the case. For and that's that's a that's a good uh, good thing to point out with these tests is they're just giving you inferences when it comes to these trait results. They're looking at the SNPs that they were talking about, single nucleotide polymorphisms. They're looking at those, and there are certain ones that can be indicative of um, these types of traits. And so, if they find these uh, SNPs, which they call variants. Um, then they will basically say, well, you have these variants, so you are likely, you're not likely, you're less likely. Um, and so it's really just kind of a scientific guesstimation when they do these straight things. So if you do, you know, if you do something like this, and especially in the health part, and it detects that you have certain variants that are indicative of something that you might want to look further into, then you're going to want to go to a medical professional to do that uh, or, you know, consult with a geneticist, someone who is trained and knows the proper tests to do to actually test for certain genetic traits um, and especially certain genetic health traits. <laughs> it's not cool when you're partying with your friends to be turning purple and everyone be like, are you okay? You're like, I'm just trying to have fun. He's you know, kind of, he's, you feel like he's already getting the color in his face. Of like a mixed child. You kind of don't know like where to belong. And, but, but knowing that that is the truth, I'm like, oh, I don't have to like belong to one specific ethnicity. That excites me. I love traveling. I love being engaged with other cultures and ethnicities. So I feel like it's just an excuse to do that more and be like, oh, it's in my blood. Like I need to go experience all these other things now. We want to thank 23andMe for sponsoring this episode. If you 
you'd like to get your own kit, you can head to 23andme.com slash ASAP. We'll put the links in the description and you'll be helping to support our show as well. So we had so much fun doing this. You can do it too. You can find out about your ancestry, but also your wellness and health. We're about to go leave and look at ours really detailed. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more episodes of The Lab. Well, yeah, that was uh, that was a pretty good video. Um, they did dive into some of the explanation of the DNA tests, especially, you know, that there's 23 chromosomes, how the SNPs work and how they read them, um, and kind of giving a basic overview. Uh, I was kind of hoping that they would dive into a little bit more of it, maybe talking about how the population inferences are come up with, because that's the biggest thing that most people are confused about is, well, how are they determining that, yeah, I have French and German ancestry or that I have this 0.1% Native American? Why do they think that? So I was kind of hoping they'd dive into that. But, um, you know, it was a pretty good video overall. Um, I really would be interested to see Mitchell's actual genealogy, like I said, being that, you know, he doesn't really know much about, he doesn't seem to know much about his Asian ancestry. Uh, like I said, it seems like he has a vague idea of it. So, you know, maybe he's been to where his family's from. Um, but, uh, yeah, that'd be a very interesting thing to see is that ancestry. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, you can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe. It's completely free to do so. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. I'll see you in my next video.